Kiko and Mia, come over. A cake for you. Very delicious. Thanks, Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. Let's cut it, Daddy. Wait a second. I have a question to ask you two. The total area of this cake is 600 square inches. The blue part is ours, and the area is 80 square inches. The two white parts are for Lily's family and Pepe's family and have the same area. The green part is for the John and Mary, the duck, couple, living beside the creek. Do you know how much is the white part area and green part area? Mia, do you know? Yes, Mia. I know that the area of a triangle is base times height over 2, but we don't know the lengths of base and height. Let me get a ruler to measure, right, Daddy? No need to measure. Please tell us how to do it. Mia is right about the triangle area. The rectangle area is base times height. When the base and height are the same, rectangle area is two times of triangle area. I drew a dash line to get a rectangle area whose base and height are same as them of blue triangle. We know the area of blue triangle is 80 square inches. Then the area of rectangle 1 becomes 160 square inches. Do you understand now? Yes, Daddy. So surprise. Now who knows how much is area of rectangle 2? It is the total area minus rectangle 1, which is 600 minus 160 and equals to 440 square inches. Very smart, Mia. Yes, Mia is correct. Now how much is area of green triangle? I know. The area of green triangle is half of area of rectangle 2, which is 220 square inches. Correct, smart Kiko. Kiko is so smart. How much is white triangle now? Should be total area minus blue triangle minus green triangle, which is 600 minus 80 minus 220 and gets 300. This is the total of two white triangle areas. Each white triangle area should be half of it and is 150 square inches. You two are absolutely right. I am so proud of you, kids. Good. Mia. Now let's go to deliver cake to friends. Yes. Yes. Let's go.